this morning. It is a safety feature in your car that you may not have known even existed. I did not While it may help protect you in the event of a crash, it can also help investigators who are responsible for reconstructing the scene. Matthew Herchick is joining us live this morning. Until this Tiger Woods accident, I didn't even know what this thing is. So what do they call the piece of technology? <laughs> Well, Matt and Monica, the technical term may vary based on manufacture, but it's often referred to as a black box. And in a vehicle like this one, it typically sits beneath the floor here, just below the dash, and it's protected by rubber and foam to keep vital information safe in the event of a crash. This safety system decides what's needed to protect the people inside the car. It's a plethora of data that it's drawing in and then it's making decisions in milliseconds. The driver of this vehicle identified as Tiger Woods. After the serious crash involving Tiger Woods last week, I spoke to the Ohio State Highway Patrol about how these black boxes help them with reconstruction. It can answer things that we could never do hand calculations or take measurements to figure out what happened in those moments prior to. We also go to steering input. How many Last year, the State Highway Patrol requested 400 reports like this, report. which paints no a picture of things like vehicle speed, accelerator activity, or even panic braking. It definitely has, over the last at least 10 years, developed uh, because before you couldn't really see a whole lot. Honda uses what they call a supplemental restraint system. It records all of your data approximately 20 seconds before, 20 seconds during, and 20 seconds after the event of an accident. Similar technology is just about industry-wide now, providing data that will help prevent more wrecks down the road. And that helps us give a better picture as far as what happened, what were the causative factors, and how do we work to reduce crashes like that happening in the future. So when do law enforcement agencies actually request these black box reports? Well, they say first off, the severity of the accident plays a major role, but also if there's any possible prosecution involved or any unresolved issues with the vehicle crash. So again, it provides a plethora of information for these law enforcement agencies when they're reconstructing these crashes. Matt and Monica. That's interesting. It really is. Yeah. And the state patrol requested 400 reports last year. It seems like a decent amount. <laughs> Yeah, it is. And really only about 50% of those, they said, were actually for crashes that they were investigating. They said that a lot of these smaller agencies simply don't have the resources to be able to reconstruct these crashes the way that they can. So yeah, about 50% of those reports were actually for surrounding agencies that they were assisting. Hmm. Very interesting. Something that I had never even heard of. No. And most of us have them in yeah. our cars right now. Matthew, thank you so much. Yeah, we know about them in airplanes. Didn't think about it in the cars. Right, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Matthew. <laughs>